How's it going everyone? So who would have thought it, right? Who would have thought it when we started all that time ago in Karabukspo and Trebizov in the lower reaches of Slovenia, or was it Slovakia? But we've ended up at one of the biggest clubs in the world. Liverpool approached us after we won the Dutch league. I couldn't say no, could I? One season in Holland, but it's time to step up and we've gone to our first five-star club. So what's happened at Liverpool that means they need a new manager? Well, you can see the league season just finished and we'll get to why joining the club at this point is a good one in a bit. But they finished fifth, so they haven't even gone to the Champions League, so obviously the board aren't too happy about that. Let's have a little look into where they are. They've lost nine games this season, which is a hell of a lot for Liverpool. Finishing, they just missed out on the Champions League on, on GD. So just, but it looks like they're in the Europa League. Other competitions, let's have a little look. So they're still, this is interesting, they've still got the Club World Championship to play next month. Well, in three days' time. So we've joined with that in three days' time. So we might get off to a winning start, trophy-wise. So how cool is that? Euro Cup. So the Euro Cup's where they're going to be in the Champions League this season. They got knocked out in the semis. FA Cup, they're knocked out in the fourth. And Carabao Cup, they got knocked out in the semis. So it's a trophy season, unless we can win the Club World Championship for them in our first week in the job. So Liverpool, for the last three or four seasons, have not won anything. Let's have a little look at the history summary. So here we are. You can see there from 2029 through till 2033-34, they won the league four times in a row. Since then though, it's been a bit of a drop off. Second place and then third place and then last season fifth place. So they have taken action. I think it's Jurgen Klopp that we're replacing, so we had an epic stay. Quick check in on why Liverpool went for little old me. I'm now 56 years old in the game. I mean, I've just turned 40 in real life, so checking myself at 56 is a bit of a kick in the, gro <laughs> kick in the groin. Reputation you now can see is up to 90%. Still terrible with the media, but hey-ho, everything else is pretty much up there. The attributes are matching that as well. Strolling over to reputation there. We're now four and a half stars and we're superb. So we are one of the premium managers in the game, which is mad. And we go down to the history tab down in the bottom corner here. You see all the clubs we've had now. Karabuk Sport, Trebizov, Faf, Lotte, Iverdon. That little stint in Bosnia, which really gave us a little boost up. Orangi, Fluminense, Independiente, when we went to South America. Bigger clubs started then with Real Sociedad and then Ajax. And now here we are in Liverpool. So... What do you do when you take over a team? I've took over a lot of teams, but I thought in this episode I'd show you what I'd do when I first take over a team to basically build the tactic and the squad. The game's asking me what tactic I want to put in. I'm not just going to put anyone in for the sake of it. So what I do is I'm going to have a look at the squad and look at last season, which is why it's such a good time to join at the back end of the season because all the stats are there, they're still fresh, and see what formation they've been playing throughout the season. They're going to have players that are used to it, who are bought for that. And believe it or not, Liverpool haven't got a great deal of amount of money. I think they've given us about 80 million, but the players are going to be premium. They just need to be managed better, better than Klopp. So what we do is we go back to the schedule. You can see what happened last season. And you can see it's, it's a very inconsistent season. There's a lot of wins, but there's a lot of defeats as well. So we'll pick a random game. Man United at home, they lost 0-2. Let's have a look. See the shape they lined up in. So there's Liverpool. They went with a 4 3 3 with an anchor man in the pivot against United's 4 2 3 1. And the loss, chances wise, it's decent. It's decent. There's not a lot wrong there. So let's have pick on another game. A 4 1 win against Marseille in the Champions League. And there you can see they've gone a lot more aggressive. Similar shape, but it's 4 2 3 1. So it looks like they're rolling with two different shapes. 4 2 3 1 for games they should perceivably win games where they're going to find it a bit tougher it's a 4-3-3 so it's pretty similar to real life over on the squad depth tab i can have a look so we'll work from top of the pitch to the bottom so strikers a kid here called neto he looks like a five star striker and there you can see whoa he's he's there isn't he finishing dribbling technique flair yeah this is the type of player we've got value at 60 million 
understudy apparently is Perez, 30 year old, 85 million. Now, I thought I had the best strike I'd ever seen for Ajax with Berisha. This guy is even better. He's got 20s coming out of his eyeballs. Concentration, teamwork, work rate. He looks like a proper working striker. He's like a souped up Craig Bellamy on steroids. Two great strikers straight off the bat. So by doing this, even if we go down to the midfield, Pierre Vanni, 52 million for some reason is on the transfer list. We will sort that right out immediately. He's going to get another chance. So I can see I've got a good squad to work with. Now, as I look through the squad, it's apparent that they may be aging a little bit. You can see this fella there. He's got 126 caps for Colombia. So he's 31 years old. So what I can see is I need to get these players firing. I mean, look at his average rating for the season. That's gone his history, so you guys can see it as well. He's just played a season where he's from midfield, remember. 37 appearances, 7.76. He's had an unbelievable career. These are the type of players, but it looks like they've only got one or two seasons because they've got a bit of an aging squad. So we've got work to do to turn it around fast. It's going to have to be like a Jose Mourinho style turnaround this. Back to the squad screen. So they've just played a season. So if you just go up to average rating tab there, give that a click. It'll put them in order of how they perform this season. Again, that'll give us another good insight into what I've got. For example, Eduardo Nieves is the player I just clicked on. He's top of the pile. And just under him, Damian Perez. We also clicked on him. And Francis Janvier, English, believe it or not, two caps, 23. I mean, they're all rated about 70, 80 million. This is a booming team. So we've got a lot to work with. So I peeked behind the curtain. My hair fever has killed me. Check that out. It looks like I've been battered by someone, but there you go. And we noticed this one. My uh, fiance is gonna love this, her name's Helen. I've got a Brazilian called Heleno. So obviously he's got a start and he'll probably be captain because I can imagine he'll want to boss people about as well. That's the team we've got at the minute. Look, this may change. I'm at the back end of the season. We're gonna play this um, World Club Championship with this sort of layout because I know the team are familiar, familiar with it, sorry. And once we get pre-season going, I can work out who these players are as my eye continues to deteriorate. So it will be a shorter video today. So when we, work out what our players are, I may change it. Part of me really wants to play free at the back with these boys, develop it, so maybe drop in these two back, moving him across, moving them up there. But for the time being, I want them to be comfy in the system and they're used to playing 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1. So for this upcoming club championship, we'll do that. And then when we've got the pre-season to mold them a bit, we'll keep one of these as the main choice of a tactic, but the others may get a bit more experimental. I may even go to a really aggressive 4-2-4 four, because four, they've got so many players. Look at all this down here. So many players, so much quality. Excited for the season ahead. Shady,